Okay, let's take a look at this page on my site, netnick.com. Thanks for visiting. Uh, in the content area of this page, uh, I've listed some of the content on my site, the CSS articles, jQuery articles, uh, Drupal articles, and then my magnifier gallery display, which is this. Each of these sections is a view and then they're placed on the page with panels. So let's take a look at the views. I've made some views here. List taxon CSS generates this area here. Uh, list taxon Drupal List this area down here and get the picture. So let's take a look at list taxon CSS. Title is CSS. So that shows up here. The fields are the title and the description. And the filter is the CSS, the term taxonomy term CSS. So let's take a look at that preview. So it has a title and then a clip of the content, which again comes out, turns out right here. These two, list tax on Drupal, list tax on jQuery, are clones of the first one, and the only thing that's changed is the filter. In this case, filter on the taxonomy term jQuery. The magnifier one is a little different. It uses the photos, so that's mag view pics. Take a look at that. Any node of the type magnifier will show up here. Here's the title, which shows up on the page. And in only one field, a uh, preset that I created in Image Cache for a square thumbnail that is linked to the node. And let's take a look at the preview. Okay, there it is laid out. Also notice laid out in a grid where I've specified three in the row. And there it is on the page. Right there. Okay, so then in panels we have my panels page, which is a panels page that I created. And we'll take a look at how it's laid out. So the layout is two columns. With this radio button here, it shows two columns. And that's why it's laid out in two columns here. take a look at the content. This is how you add content to the page. You click on this gear here to add to this side. Click on this gear here to add to the right side. Here's something I've added. Here's the mag view pics that I've added. Uh, one other thing to note is under general. You can add CSS code uh, here in the div known as with a class of panel ID. I've uh, put a 0.8M font size to make all the fonts a little smaller than the rest of the site. 
here on the headers the panel title I've added a little background color and a little margin and then on the images in the mag view picks I gave a margin right of six pixels and a border so that they don't bump into each other which they would if I hadn't done that so there you go that's views and panels and it makes a page thanks for listening